If you have a presentation in teams, it's a multi-presenter presentation where you and others are delivering the presentation. You have some slides, some other people have different slides. One of the things you can do in teams to avoid the next slide please being repeated over and over throughout the meeting because only one person is controlling the slides, have one person share the slides like I'm doing here. They can go through and do their section and when they're done their section and they want to turn it over to somebody else, what they can do is for the screen that's being sharing a Teams, you can move your cursor to the top and you can use this item, Give Control. You can then select the person you want to give control to. That person now has control of the presentation. Now they only see still what is shared on the screen. As so we can see here on the person who is now having control, You'll notice that at the top bar it says stop control. That means they have control. And because they can't see presenter views notes, one of the things that you're going to want to do if you're the one taking control is to have your PowerPoint presentation open in the notes view to where your starting slide is so that you can see your notes as you go through. Now you simply click on the slide to be able to take control of it. And you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move through the slides. You see your first build, you arrow the next build. When you go to your next slide, you can use your mouse and just move over to your PowerPoint notes view and use the mouse wheel to scroll down. That does not take focus away from your slides. And so then you continue to move through your slides one by one. And when that person is done the section, what they'll do is they'll simply click on stop control it now returns control to the person who was originally sharing the slides and either they can give control to someone else in the same way or they can continue on going on to the next slide that they had. This allows you to have multi-presenter presentations in Teams where each person controls their slides. It makes it much easier to have builds in your slides so that each person controls their slides without having to say, next slide please, or could you click to the next slide. This is a much smoother way for your audience. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.